I just want you to take a few deep breaths in and breathe out and just relax any tension that you find in your body. And I want you to imagine the beginning of time when none of what we know of existed. It was utter void, emptiness, and darkness. And all of a sudden there's a ray of light that pierces the darkness and the first wind blows and the first drops of water begin to flow. The first grass and flower blooms. All of this emanated from God's speech as divine music emanating outward. The earth is then gathered together and a human is formed. You are born. The sages teach that our soul is rooted in this first human soul. And that means on some level, you were part of Adam's experience. But instead of speaking the soul into existence as he had done with everything else in reality, this time it says, Vayipach be'apav nishmat chayim and God blew through his nostrils a living soul. And we know that the difference between speech and a deep breath from within is that you can speak the whole day long, but when you take a deep breath in and out, you need a moment to recover because it's coming from a deeper place within you. So metaphorically, your divine soul emanates from the deepest aspect within God, far deeper than anything else that we see in the universe. The very last line of King David's book of poems, known as Psalms, says, Kol ha-neshama tahalaya hallelujah. Every soul praise God. But the word neshama can be pronounced neshima, breath. So it can be read, for every breath I praise God. There's an ailment of the human condition that we least appreciate what we have the most access to, including our relationships. We take our loved ones for granted, and we definitely take our every breath for granted, even though they're the most precious in our lives. And whether it's every minute or hour, day or week, you can take one deep breath in, you can inhale that love that God has for you in giving you that air to fill your lungs, to live, and then you can breathe out any fear, anxiety, pain, loneliness, anger inside. You can do that right now. Breathe in the love, breathe in the divine trust within you, that the divine has your back, that there's a purposeful path that you're on, that you can trust the journey. And then you can breathe out the anxiety and the worry. You're a pure divine soul. You're not a body that happens to house a soul, You're a soul, a godly energy that happens to inhabit a body. You are the magic. You are the thing. It's not your humor or your looks. We base so much of our self-worth on the love and external validation of others. And no matter how awesome your personality is, you must recognize that the essential you is way beyond all of that. There's a wellspring of incredible intuitive wisdom within you that's waiting to be accessed. It's not the outer actions and successes that should make you feel worthy. You are worthy. And when you recognize that self-worth and that power you have, you can also make a real impact in the world around you. Notice the breath within you now that's keeping you alive so you can perform your mission. And both your breath and the loftiest infinite spiritual realms have the same divine source. And that source deemed it important to send you a divine gift of love right now that's coursing through you and encompassing you. And now that your body's been formed and your soul's been placed within you, you open your eyes to find yourself in the perfect harmony and unity of the Garden of Eden. You've just been born. You're the first human on earth. Imagine the feeling of that first wind on your face that first breath of cool air. 
witness the first seed begin to flower and sprout. Walk up to the riverbanks and feel, for the first time ever, the cold water over your toes. Every single aspect of life, of reality, came from nothing. It didn't have to be here. Life could have been just one color, one smell, one taste. But life is wondrous. Every day is a miracle. Every sense we interact with is intentional. When we open our eyes, let's look at the world around us with a new perspective, as if we're back in the Garden of Eden, witnessing everything for the very first time. Wishing you a Shabbat Shalom.